so you guys as you can see right here i am setting off of my humidifier this humidifier is a 2.5 liter humidifier um those two holes at the back there those are just for releasing um air from the humidifier itself now that is the water marker area that you're looking at right there and on the front here that is a timer no that is the light and that entire thing there is a control button so you are looking at the timer the control button as well as the light switch for the humidifier itself so now i have turned it on and just to show you the different areas so that's the light you can change these functions different it will change to different colors if it's on auto otherwise you can change it to the color you of your preference now this is the top portion which is the cover of the humidifier and that is the air release hole that you're looking at that dispenses the mist so now I'm just about to um, pour some water inside the humidifier so we can test it out. Um, this humidifier, I actually saw it on Amazon and to be honest, I fell in love with it because it does so many things. Um, this is something that you can use anywhere around your home and to be honest, you can actually set it for the amount of hours that you want to have it running as you can see it does hold quite a large amount of water because i had to refill this jug um, to actually get the water to the level that it's supposed to go to Let us just put in some of our essential oils that helps to clear the air and this one is eucalyptus and peppermint. now that it's on once you press the light once it is automatically on auto so it will change the colors um incrementally so you'll notice that it changes the various colors over time and that really makes it awesome if you want it on the auto So in this part of the video, what we're actually doing, we're going to now set up our humidifier to work with Alexa. So once you have downloaded the app, then you proceed to go into the app itself and then you will search for the humidifier and then you will connect to the humidifier. So that's the first step, connecting to the humidifier from the app itself. So once you go into the app, you download the EcoSmart app from Google Store or if you are using um, Apple and then you connect to the humidifier itself before you actually start to do your connection to Alexa or Google Play. So your Google app, um, for the people who uses the Google Smart app, I'm not sure how that one works because I only use Alexa. So I'm connected to Alexa with everything inside my house. So what you can do is once you have downloaded, um, now what you can proceed to do in the app itself, you go to the settings and it asks you if you want to connect to Alexa or Google smart things or one of those and what you can do is click on the one that is that speaks to you so if you have alexa or google 
or if you have you know whatever it is um, ai that you are using you can click in your settings to connect to that and then what will happen is that the app itself will now search for alexa to get connected so just continue to watch the process to connect to your alexa um, or smart things or your google assistant and then you will be able to make your connection with your humidifier Alexa, turn off humidifier. Alexa, turn on humidifier. Alexa, turn on humidifier light. It works. Guys, you can get this device on Amazon. It's like $35 and it works perfectly. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. So you can turn on your humidifier from anywhere in the world. I usually set it for um, 24 hours or sometimes up to eight hours so that it runs all night and honestly um, I use things like eucalyptus in there this one is eucalyptus and mint you can use pure eucalyptus I've used peppermint oil and it just helps with your ability to breathe it cleans the air and allows you to breathe a lot better and this holds 2.5 liters and uh, it works perfectly so try it out i will leave the link in the description box so you guys can try this out don't miss out on it if you live in the tropics or even if you live where it's really cold honestly when the winter and the summer and autumn listen when all those allergy seasons and you know all the um, dust mites and whatever dust that can accumulate this thing works like perfection to be honest that's the best way I can describe it so I would suggest getting one of these link in the description box below y'all test it out yeah your girl once again hitting you up with one of her new finds gadgets that links to Alexa, it links to Google, it links to smart things, whichever one of them you want to link it to. All right, you guys, because it's a smart device. So I sometimes keep it in my room, you guys, because um, I do have another humidifier in the living room. So I keep this one in my room sometimes, um, you know, in various spaces because it holds so much water. So you can always, once you missed one room, you can always switch around to another room. And it's perfect for the entire household for big, large rooms, you guys. Um, this room is 14 by 13 and a half so I mean it's not that big but it's it, it's big enough because even the other humidifier so I don't really think it was working well in here so I think this one is perfect and it's so easy to set up because it gives you the prompts and you can literally spin this in the direction you would like for it to be 
whichever direction you want to have the mist going you can always put it in that you know it's a 360 turn so you see where it has the max there for the water it has the buttons there and as I said it works with Alexa this is so cute 